Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part four of my tutorial on how to create WordPress themes from scratch. So far, we have the blog page all set up, looking real nice. And in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this single.php page for the WordPress theme. A link to all the code and the theme itself is available underneath this video. And I'm also going to show you how to make page.php and search.php. Because if you would go to a page in our current theme, this is what it looks like, which isn't very nice. But by the end of the tutorial, it's going to look like this this. So let's get into the code. All right, on the left side of the screen, what I have here is all of the code from the tutorial how to lay out a website. And what I simply have to do is copy all this information from the left side in the proper way to the right side of the screen. And this is single.php in our WordPress theme. So what do we got here? Git header, of course, we're going to be able to use. No problem with that. And then what we're going to have to do is put in git sidebar. Well, I'm going to save a little bit of time. I'm going to put our left sidebar inside of this. If you didn't watch all the previous tutorials, definitely check those out, otherwise you may be confused. Now, to bring in our first sidebar, we're just going to type in first, and there you are. Now our first sidebar is included. Then what we have to do is get content column. These are all the divs that surround our information and put it in the right way. And also get content container, which is going to surround all of the content on the screen. And by content, I mean this, all this information that's in the center of the screen here. So let's click here and paste that inside of there. So that looks perfectly fine. And then what this guy here, if have post, what this is saying is if we have a post to display, we're going to display all the information that I ask for. So I have to put everything in the proper order underneath of this guy. The first thing I'm going to say is I want to figure out what to put in the upper right hand corner here. Let's zoom in just so you can see. You can see here this says article. However, in other situations it might say video. It's just an added feature I just threw in there just to have something different. Well, if I want to figure out if it's an article or a video, I got to ask it what category it's in. So let's jump over here. I know I'm jumping around a lot. If you go inside of WordPress and go to the categories page, which is underneath of posts, and you put your mouse over top of one of the categories down in the lower left hand corner, you might not be able to see it. It's down here whenever I put my mouse there. See if zooming in helps at all. And eh, it's still too small. But if you put your mouse over top of a category, it'll show a number down here. It says category and tag ID equals, and in this situation it says 87. So if I want to check if something's a video, I have to ask it what category it's in. And that's real simple. I'm just going to go PHP, and I'm going to say if, and I'm going to type in in category, and I'm going to say 87 because that's the category for my videos or my articles that are inside of the video categories and if it is what I want to do is come over here to div class content title and I'm going to copy right up to there and paste in that information because content title is the name of the div that surrounds that guy that just previously showed article and in this situation if it's in the video I'm going to say I want to display video inside of there close off my h4 tags real simple close off my div and I want to come down here again PHP and I'm going to close off with the curly brace for this guy right here. Then I'm going to say else if it's not in the 87 category or it's not in the video category, I want to print article. So let's just copy this so that we can save ourselves some time and output a different div that says article instead of putting out the other one. That's easy enough. And then I just simply have to come down here and go PHP and put in another curly brace to close that guy off. So that's easy. Well then let's look over here again. So we see that we have content article title in this situation is Facebook marketing. Well, we're just going to copy again from the left side of the screen, come in here and paste that inside of there. Now inside of WordPress, if you want to get the actual article title, you just call PHP again and you call for the title. And this function is going to output whatever the title is for the article. And then you just close off your PHP section again. And then you're going to close off with your tags and close off the div. So again, pretty straightforward. Now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to look over here and see what we got here. So what this is going to do is it's going to say posted by admin. This is just static. So what we want to do is make this dynamic. So how do we do it? Let's just copy this again, use it as a baseline. And we're going to leave posted by inside of here. That's going to be perfectly fine. Now, inside of WordPress, if you want to get the actual author, the person that, that created this post, you go call a function called the article, and it automatically jumps out there and grabs the author of this for you. Well, then I want to also put the date in. Well, that means I need to get rid of all of this. 
So let's get rid of it. And inside of WordPress, if you want to get yourself a date, you call a function called the time. And then inside of that, just standard getting dates or whatever, just going to type in these codes right here. And that will get you the date for whenever this post was created. And then in this situation, if I want to get the category it was posted inside of, again, I just type in PHP. Category is equal to get the category. And what it's going to do is it's going to pop back every category into this guy, this array here, that this post is currently assigned to. Well, we don't want all of them. We just want the first one. So we're going to go echo category. And if we want the first one in an array, we type in zero. And that'll give us the first category it's in. And from that, we want to get the category name. This is just kind of like window dressing. We don't really care what comes back. It's just like stuff's just there. Okay. And then we're going to put a little colon inside of there. And if I want to get the number of comments, well, I got to get rid of this 18 because this is going to be dynamic. Type in PHP. I'm going to say num comments. And in WordPress, if you want to get the number of comments that are currently on a post, you type in get comments number. And then we're going to go echo, which is just going to print the screen, the number of comments, right like that. And then we can leave comments here and we can leave everything else exactly the same. So now let's move back over here. Let's get this horizontal rule. It's going to go underneath it here. Paste that inside of there. So I'm just doing a lot of cutting and pasting. And then we have content for the excerpt. We're just going to copy this beginning part right here. Paste that inside of there. And then we can come in here and delete all of this extraneous information we don't need. Because what we have built into this already is going to grab all the content for the post. And we can leave all of this information in here as well. As well as tags or keywords or whatever you want to call them. Then what I decided I wanted to do is I actually wanted the comments to show up inside of this guy. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it out of there. And you can do things like this. It's not going to constrain you. WordPress is pretty much allow you to do whatever you want. So I want the comments inside of there instead. And then what do I need to do? Well, I need to close off this paragraph that I just created. So let's do that. And I can say something like end of an end go content excerpt, which may help people understand exactly what you're doing here. I don't want this div inside of here. This is going to allow an administrator that's logged in or the person that created the post to be able to edit the entry. So we're just going to leave that inside of there. Then this div here is going to close what? Well, let's look. What div is open? Content container is open and so is content column. So let's just copy them both. Copy. Just so we can pull them all down here all at the same time. Paste that inside of there. And then I'm going to say, just copy this. Copy. Paste inside of there. And I'm going to say end of content. Container. Paste. And then we can get rid of that div. And then we have to close content column like that. Content column, paste, get rid of this. And you have your end while and if. That means that all the information's come through in regards to the post. We don't need any more. Then I want my second sidebar to show up. So I'm going to come in here and I'm typing in second. So that's perfect. And then I have to close what's called the content wrapper, which is going to wrap around all of this information that's displayed on the screen. Just close off that div. And we're going to go copy end of content wrapper. And if you don't know what I mean by content wrapper, that is, let's jump in here, page. See, content wrapper, this is where it was first created. And content wrapper is this pink area that surrounds everything that's on the screen. So that's what, it starts after the menu and goes the whole way down until it comes to the footer. So that's what content wrapper is, just a big giant div. Jump back over into single. And let's file save that guy and let's go see what our results look like. And you can see that everything's lined up here really, really, really tight. I mean, it's looking pretty good. There's a couple little things I don't like. I'd like this to be stretched down the whole way on the screen. And let's go in here and we'll just play with a couple little things. So we're going to be messing around with the content part here. So let's get rid of this. And to fix those styling issues, I'm going to jump into style. I'm going to bring my whole browser window up here in this situation so that I can look at what's going on on the left side of the screen as I make some changes here. So let's scroll through style.css. And we see here on 10 column and a couple other things. So what do I want to do? In general, everything's looking kind of good. Margin right, I'd like to kind of try to center this a little bit better. So let's change this to three pixels. And we'll change our margin left as well. I'm just going to copy that. And we'll take that to, we'll leave that at three pixels as well. And then to correct this issue where there's this big block down here, I'm going to make a minimum height of 1,000 pixels. Oh, let's see what that looks like. Then I'm going to make similar changes to content column. When content column surrounds everything, and then content container surrounds everything else. So we're going to come down in here, 
and paste those same changes inside of there. And then we're going to take minimum height and we're also going to copy it and paste it inside of here. And let's file save that and see how it works. All right, looks like I got pretty much exactly what I wanted, except this is a little bit longer than what I wanted it originally to be. Let's just change it into 995. Reload. All right, okay, that's pretty much single.php. Everything's lined up real nice there. So what we got to do now is fix page.php. And this is what page.php currently looks like. So I don't need this. But what I do need is page.php. And here it is. We're going to be making a lot of the same changes. So let's just save ourselves some time. We'll go into single.php, scroll up here. All right, so we're going to want all this information. It's the same. Single.php is for posts. Page.php is for pages. Pretty much the same sort of thing. A couple little changes here and there. So after header, I'm going to put my sidebar in. I'm going to put all my containers inside of there. Jump back into single. Have post is going to be the same. So I'm going to copy all of this information down to content excerpt. And then here's where the content's described. Copy that. Jump over into page. So remember, between have posts and the content. All right, so here's have posts. We want that, and we want to delete everything until we get to content. And we'll paste in what we had from before. Again, everything's going to be displayed in the same way. A couple little changes here and there. For one thing, I'm still going to want to let the video and article little things show up there. I still, of course, want to show the title. However, categories isn't really going to make sense for using inside of pages. Remember, we're in page.php right now. So I'm going to go into this area right here, and I'm going to delete everything that has to do with categories. Just totally delete it. Gone. And while there's not normally comments on pages, I decided, eh, what the heck, just leave it inside of there. It's up to you. You don't want it. Get rid of it. You know, totally. And then horizontal rule, exactly the same. Content excerpt, again, exactly the same. Underneath this, I'm going to want to move my comments inside of there again like I did before. So I'll take that out of there. So I want my comments to show up. Again, I need to close off this paragraph, close off that paragraph, and I can say, what the heck, I might as well just copy it, right? End of content excerpt, jump back into page.php, paste that in there, get rid of this div right here, and then after edit post link, again, remember that's for the administrator, the person that made this page can go in there and edit it. I'm going to jump into single.php, and I'm going to copy this. Actually, every single thing on here is the same, so why don't we just copy it all? Jump under page, delete everything there paste in on our new content. So as you can see, it's almost identical. So let's save it. And there you see our page looks nice. So there you are. That's how you fix up the posts and the pages. And then the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to fix up the search. So let's just type in something. So you can see search is all messed up. So let's go in here and fix search.php. I'm going to use the same content column, content container information. So I'm going to jump into single.php and start copying this again. So I'm going to copy first, current content, blah, 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 all that stuff. Copy, jump in, search. There you are, got that in there. Then I'm going to use the content title to show search results on the screen just because that kind of makes sense. So here's div class content title. We're going to show that on the upper right hand side of the screen. Again, like we did here. See, here I'm going to have search results instead of article because that makes more sense to me. Jump back into search. Doink. Dump it in there. And h4 search results. Close off the h4 tag. Close off the div. And then what's really cool here is we don't really have to change anything because this is automatically going to jump out there and get all our search results. And I decided I don't need pictures on every single thing. It starts to get a little bit repetitive. So basically all I need to do is close off these divs that I created. So again, let's jump over into single.php, come down here, copy this, jump back into search.php, come right in here after it says template nav, paste that inside of there. So that closes off both those divs. Then I'm going to have to get my right sidebar like I did previously and then end content container like we did before. So how I get my second sidebar is type in second inside of there. And then I have to end the content wrapper. So let's just copy this right before footer. Boink. Now let's do a search. And there you can see search results and only one thing came back. Let's see if we can get something a little better here. There you go. So there's how the search results pop back. There you are. That's how you make single.php, page.php, and search.php. In the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make archive.php and 404.php. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.